Hi guys, it's Alyssa. I am here with another reading. I hope you've all been doing well. So today we're asking, when will you hear from your person again? So obviously this is for those of you who are in separation or no contact situations with your person of interest. We're going to be hopefully getting a time frame for when some communication might come in from them and whatever else the cards want to show us feelings intentions i don't know what's going to come up we'll see um so we have three groups to choose from here group one two and three um if you've been on my channel for a while you might recognize these guys i moved back in october and the other day i just found them in a box that I had barely unpacked and it was like underneath of stuff and I had forgotten it was there and I found them and I got really excited because I was like I can use them in readings again <laughs> so they're back and um, also while you're making your choices I just wanted to mention that I am on Instagram now uh, at Serpentine Donner just like it's spelled here on YouTube. Uh, I don't have much on there yet, but I am hoping that it'll be a good place to keep up with you guys, and um, I'm probably going to do like card pulls every day or every other day or something like that. Um, it should be a lot of fun, so if you're interested, you can check that out. Um, the link to my Etsy store is in the description below, all of that if you're interested in a private reading. With that said, let's jump into this with group number one. <clears throat> all right, group one, I think I'm gonna use this deck for you guys. Let's find out when you will hear from your person again. Okay, so the very first card that we have showing up here is the Three of Cups reversed. When will group one hear from their person again? Oh, the Eight of Wands, Eight of Pentacles, Four of Cups reversed. Five of Swords, and the Hanged Man. Okay, let me get one more. It was like sideways. I feel like it's supposed to be upright, so I'm just going to turn it upright. Um, okay. On the bottom of the deck, you guys, is the Magician card. The Magician is all about potential. It's all about manifestation. Some of you have been trying to manifest this person back into your lives, and it is working. Um, <laughs> progress is being made. A lot of it is being made behind the scenes, so you can't really see it from where you are. Um, but your efforts are... Uh, paying off, okay? <clears throat> so, um, we have, let's see, starting with the Three of Cups, this card typically is about friendship, um, close emotional uh, bonds between people, this is about celebrations, good times, partying, having fun, making good memories with loved ones and friends. Um, in the reverse, it can represent some kind of disconnect between people, um, a lack of unity, a lack of harmony. Uh, this card also can indicate third party situations. Um, I don't bring that up a lot because it kind of freak some people out. Um, so usually I don't mention it unless I feel like I really should. And in this case, I feel like I should because I get the impression that a lot of you, the person you're thinking of 
has been dealing with a third party and I think for many of you this third party was actually like another person that they were involved with in some way. Um, with this being reversed, however, I get the sense that this third party situation is kind of falling apart. Um, either your person has cut ties with this person or they are in the process of cutting ties with this person. Um, because it seems to me like they have decided they're tired. They're tired of what they've been doing. Um, the Four of Cups, this is disappointment, boredom, apathy. Your person, your person has been very bored in this third party uh, relationship. And with this being reversed, this is kind of like making a decision about something, um, deciding to take an action, to initiate some kind of change. You know, if you're not happy with your current circumstances, do something about it. What can you do? Um, and so that's what this card is kind of showing me here. Uh, your person was involved with this third party. It was fun for a while, um, but it led to it led to issues, obviously. Um, I feel for a lot of you, this did lead to the separation that you're in. Um, in. In the time since that happened, they, the fun, the enjoyment, the novelty of this other relationship has really worn off. And they've been feeling just very, very low. Um, you know, you see this person here, they've got three cups in front of them and they've got one cup that's being offered to them, um, but they're not looking at any of the cups. They're not paying attention to anything that's available to them. They're just kind of wallowing in self-pity and sadness and I think your person has really regretted their actions and some of you are saying, good they should um i feel hmm you're okay <laughs> your person um to put it to put it simply they feel stupid for what they did they feel like they made a big mistake in choosing this third party over you or prioritizing this third party over you. Um, you know, for some of you, it was kind of like they, I feel for, I feel like some of you, your person didn't really understand why this third party was that much of an issue. Um, and they didn't really understand like why you weren't willing to stick around with them. And, you know, whatever the case was, they're realizing now that they were being completely ridiculous. <laughs> and um, they've, uh, they've, they've been in this, this very, like, self-pitying, sad, bored, lonely kind of state. Um, but... Like I said, I feel that they are, they're in the process of, of cutting this out or they've already done it. And that's what this reversal is representing here as well. Them finally taking some kind of concrete action to change this situation that they've become so unhappy with. Um, the Five of Swords here, this is kind of uh, building on the Four of Cups energy. This card typically uh, is about conflict, despair. It can also represent disappointment. Um, it can represent like a victory, but a hollow kind of victory. Like you get what you want or you get something that you thought you wanted, but it doesn't turn out to be what you expected it to be. Um, and I feel like going back to that third party thing, I feel like that's really what happened, uh, there. And I just get this sense of, 
I just get this sense of loneliness, emptiness, and that's a feeling that this person does not like. I mean, obviously nobody likes feeling that way, but um, it's kind of freaking this person out. And with the Eight of Wands here and the Knight of Cups, I feel as though communication from this person is going to be coming relatively soon because both of these are very active energies. Um, you know, knights, they go on missions, they bring messages, they make offers. Um, specifically, the Knight of Cups represents offers or expressions of love and emotions. Uh, and the Eight of Wands, this represents news coming in, this represents change, action, and it's pretty quick moving action. So I feel like you will probably be hearing from this person relatively soon. And I want to say for many of you, hmm. Honestly, I feel like a lot of you will hear from them within within the next month or so. So like three to five weeks. And um, where'd my deck go? There it is. That's because your person is so dissatisfied with their current circumstances and they are really regretting their choices, their behavior towards you. Um, and I think that for a lot of you, your person is going to want a, another chance, um, an opportunity to make amends and kind of prove themselves uh, to you. The Eight of Pentacles, this is like the blood, sweat, and tears card. This talks to me about, you know, making the effort to achieve a goal, working very hard to prove your talent, to prove your abilities. In this case, to prove their willingness to work with you and to repair this relationship. Um, They've had, they've certainly had a change of heart, a change of perspective on the situation. Um, the hanged man, that's what this card tends to represent. Um, it can represent stagnation and delays, but it can also represent changing perspectives and illumination. Um, you know, there's this halo of light around this guy's head, like, you know, by being suspended upside down. He has seen the world from a different point of view, and as a result, he's made some new insights about the world um, because of that. So I feel that your person has done a lot of thinking about what all has gone on, and they've done a lot of reflecting about their behavior and their choices, and there's definitely... Um, There's remorse and there's a desire to try to start again. Now, some of you are going to be like, they're going to really have to work to get another chance from me. But like this Eight of Pentacles, that's all this card is about, <laughs> work. So I feel like they're probably going to be willing to do that. Um... For many of you, this person is like, I will do whatever it takes. I will do whatever it takes. Because now I realize that you were actually better for me in every way. You were actually exactly what I was looking for. I just didn't realize it or didn't see it at the time. The Nine of Cups is about wish fulfillment. It's about contentment. It's about being satisfied with what you have. Um, looking back, they're seeing that your their relationship with you, their connection with you, that connection had everything that they wanted and needed, but they just they didn't see it. They didn't see that. 
because they were just being immature and they were just trying to have a good time. And I feel like a lot of you weren't really into that. <laughs> you weren't really into that idea. And so that could have been why they, um, they got involved in this third party deal. Because you weren't really going along with what they had in mind for your relationship. And so they found someone else or connected with someone else who was, who was going along with it or who would go along with it. But yeah, this, this energy for the most part feels pretty active. And so that leads me to believe that, you know, this person is probably going to be coming towards you in the near future. Um, like I said, I want to say between three and five weeks for most of you. Now, this is just based on the current trajectory, the current energy of the situation. So this could change, obviously. Um, the future is never set in stone. It is determined by our actions because we have free will. But um, yeah, for most of you, I think this is coming relatively soon. And like I said at the start, I was feeling with the magician like a lot of you were or have been trying to manifest this person back. Um, <laughs> obviously, all of you have your own individual, unique situations going on. I'm kind of wondering why you're trying to manifest them back if they did you as dirty as it looks like they did. <laughs> no, not to, I'm not trying to judge anybody, <laughs> but like that was the thought that I had. Um, maybe you just want an opportunity to like have words and that's, that's legit. That's valid. <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah, I feel like this person wants a second chance or maybe a third or fourth chance, whatever the case may be. Um, now, whether or not you're going to be into that is a whole other story. That's a whole other question. Um, but I, I feel as though that's what this person is kind of looking for at this point. And um, I, think, I think you can expect to hear from them relatively soon. So, um, group one, I'm going to leave it there. I hope that this resonated with your situation. I hope this was entertaining, maybe. Um, this is just a general reading, so take what applies to you, leave the rest behind. If something doesn't fit, don't try to make it fit. Uh, you know, it's also possible that I'm just not on the same wavelength as you. So if, if the reading didn't resonate or it wasn't what you were hoping to hear, don't take it too personally. Um, yeah, so... Thanks for joining me, guys, and I hope I see you next time. Okay, so moving on to group number two. Ooh, please stand up. There we go. Group two, I think for you guys, I'm going to use... The Wild Unknown. Fun fact, this was actually the first deck that I ever got. My best friend gave it to me uh, for Christmas one time, like a long time ago. Okay. Group 2, when are you going to hear from your person? Right off the bat we have the Two of Swords reversed coming out. We have the Ace of Swords. We've got the Wheel of Fortune also reversed. Whoa. Ten of Cups. The Moon. Magician reversed, and let me grab one more.
the Knight of Wands also in the reverse. Okay, and on the bottom of the deck is the Hermit, again, reversed. Um, the Hermit card is generally about, you know, withdrawal and isolation. This is somebody going within, someone who typically just wants to be left alone, left to their own devices, so that they can think about things. Uh, this is all about introspection and reflection. Um, in the reverse, it can represent like somebody coming out of that kind of energy, like coming back to the real world, so to speak. In this context, though, I don't really get that particular vibe from this. It feels almost like... Like, if the Hermit could become even more isolated, even more of a Hermit than he already is, then that's what this being reversed is showing me. Do you know what I mean? Um, and we do have a number of other reversals here. And reversals, overall, um, to me, they tend to represent, like, self-focused or internal energies as opposed to energy that's being projected outward or that's coming from external sources. So like, in general, I feel like the person you're thinking of is very much in this hermit magnified state. And before any of you say, no, that's not true, um, just know that even if someone is not literally isolating themselves and literally keeping to themselves, it does not mean they're not in this hermit energy. This is an internal thing. This is in your mind. Um, Okay. The moon card. This uh, tends to represent the subconscious. It talks about the unknown um, illusions. The, uh, it's, it's kind of similar to the high priestess for me, except the moon is kind of, hmm, how do I want to describe the moon here? Um, for me, it's kind of like going within and finding your inner demons like it can relate to repressed memories repressed emotions things that you've buried deep inside of you being brought back to the surface or you know somebody going within in order to find the things that they've buried inside of themselves. Um, and the Two of Swords reversed. This card in general is about indecision, uncertainty, um, having a lack of clarity, not really knowing the way forward. And, uh, you know, we've got this, on this image we have the sun being obscured by an eclipse. So in tarot, the sun represents illumination, it represents understanding, and uh, seeing things for what they are. Um, so with this being blocked, obviously it's, it's like the truth is being concealed. It's like the way forward is not visible. And especially with this being reversed, you're your person that you're thinking of seems to be in on the inside they seem to be experiencing a lot of like intense feelings emotions um they feel very stuck they feel very stuck in their life and the wheel of fortune also reversed that kind of implies that as well to me because this is 
change this is movement this represents cycles um with it being reversed it's like that change that movement is being delayed or blocked somehow the wheel of turn the wheel of fortune is turning very slowly for some reason um it's like your person is in It's like they're they're supposed to be entering into a new a new cycle or a new phase of their life but they're stuck they're just like stagnating at the end of this current cycle it's like they're not able to just close it out so that they can move forward and This person is supposed to be learning a lot about themselves at this point in time. I feel as a result of your connection specifically, for a lot of you, did I call this the Ten of Cups? I feel like I may have said this was the Ten of Cups. Obviously it's not Cups, it's Pentacles. Um, sorry. Uh, I feel like your person, as a result of your connection specifically, is supposed to be learning a lot about themselves. Um, possibly some karmic lessons that they're meant to be internalizing and um, figuring out. Because, like, we have all this energy of, like, gaining clarity and uh, gaining understanding and just figuring stuff out and, and introspection, inner work. And the Ace of Swords is similar to that. You know, this card talks about clarity and insight. Um, this card can represent new ideas, right? Um, and I feel like that's, I feel like that's what your person is supposed to be doing right now. Your connection, obviously, as far as I can see, your connection to this person is pretty significant. Um, I think I, I, I'm getting here that it has prompted a lot of changes for you, the viewer. Um, I feel as though you have learned a lot f about yourself uh, f as a result of this connection. And you've made some very significant changes in your own life as a result of it. And you've grown a lot as a result of it. Um, even if things did not go exactly well between you, you know, things don't have to go well in order for them to be, you know, a learning opportunity or growing opportunity. Um, your person is supposed to be doing the same thing. This connection is supposed to be also teaching them uh, new things about themselves and the universe more broadly, karmic lessons, that kind of thing. Um, but they're resisting, they're resisting that, and that's why they're stagnating so much. Um, and I feel like they're resisting because I feel for many of you, your person is resisting doing this inner work that they're being so clearly asked to do just because it's uncomfortable. It's kind of hard, you know? Um, and some people, when it comes to self-improvement, are just so lazy and they just don't want to do it. They don't want to address things about themselves that they don't like. They don't want to acknowledge um, their problems, their trauma, whatever. I feel like that's the case here. Your person wants to be able to move forward, but they don't want to have to break out of their comfort zone to do that. I feel like your person does want to speak to you. Uh, on some level, they do want to speak to you. I think... Hmm. It's kind of, it's kind of interesting because I almost feel like your person like daydreams about you sometimes. And I'm getting even, 
even if you haven't spoken to each other in a long time, and I mean like a year or more, I'm seeing that this person still thinks of you often and they like daydream about you, like they imagine what life would be like with you in it. And I get that from the Ten of Pentacles here. Um, because this is about like family and fulfillment and stability and security. They feel safe and comfortable in their mind. And this may have been an issue when you were actually speaking to each other. Like, theoretically, maybe this person wanted a relationship with you, but when things actually started to get serious, they might have gotten scared and pulled away. It's like anything, anything that's different, scary, new for them, it's like they are resistant to it. I feel like this person is a real creature of habit or they have become a creature of habit because it's this is kind of okay this is kind of, I'm not going to lie, this is kind of frustrating, you guys, because, um, and I don't even know this person. <laughs> um, they have so much potential, and they have so many dreams and plans, like, not plans, but hopes and dreams for themselves. But they're not willing to just, they're not willing to do anything to actually make them real. And some of these dreams and hopes relate to you, like I said. Some of these hopes and dreams relate to other things like career, family stuff. With all of it, it's like these things are nice to think about. They're nice in theory, but in practice, mm, no, too mm, uncomfortable, don't really want to have to don't really want to have to restructure my life or make any real big changes because even though even though I'm miserable I know what to expect and I'm I'm comfortable being miserable it's like that's like the thought process here I mean it's not something that they're that's not that's not a thought process that they're consciously aware that they're having for most of you but that's basically what's going on. Does that make sense? Um, very stuck. Just very stuck. Very stagnant, stale energy here. And um, with the Knight of Wands being reversed, this is kind of like a message being blocked, something falling through, something not, just not, not coming in, not coming through like it's supposed to. Um, I feel that at this point in time I don't I really don't see your person reaching out you know when when I make estimates like predictions for the future I base them on you know the people involved what are their intentions what's their current energy state like are they in a very active energy or are they more passive are they you know holding back um and that gives me an idea of like when something will happen approximately but with you guys even though they would like to communicate with you they don't currently have any intentions of communicating with you in reality uh and so for that reason, I can't really give you a time frame for when when you might hear from them. Uh, 
I'll say it, it'll probably be a long time given where they're at right now. Hmm. Very unfortunate. Because this person could be so much more. This person... This person really writes themselves off. They don't give themselves nearly enough credit. But, you know, that's that's their problem, right? Um, that's something that they just have to figure out. That's something they have to deal with. Or if they don't, then they'll just be stuck in this energy forever, possibly. It's really, ultimately, it's their choice. Um, but yeah, to answer the question, I really, I really can't give you an answer. I'm sorry, guys, but I don't see them, I don't see them coming towards you. If they do, it will be, I would say, at least a year from now, at least. Um, so, group two, that's what I have for you today. I hope that you, uh, I hope that this reading resonated with you. I hope that you, uh, enjoyed um, this is just general, so take what applies to you and your situation and leave the rest behind. If something doesn't fit, don't try to make it fit. Um, I was going to say something else, but I forgot what it was. Anyway, uh, if you would like a reading that is tailored specifically to you and your situation, I do offer private readings. The link to my Etsy store will be in the description below. And all the information that you need to know about how to order and what stuff I need from you will be in the listings themselves. So check that out if you're interested. Thank you for joining me today, guys. I really appreciate it, and I hope that I see you next time. Bye! Okay, and lastly, we have group three. She has trouble standing up, so, um, yeah. Group three, I think I'm going to use this deck for you guys. This is the Night Sun Tarot. This is one of my newer ones. I just got it, like, right, right after Christmas. Um, okay. When will group three hear from their person? We have the Knight of Wands reversed. Group two also had this card. We've got the Three of Cups, Five of Pentacles, Whoa. don't think I'm going to take all of those cards, but let's see, okay, um, Queen of Pentacles reversed. Three of Wands, King of Cups reversed, and King of Swords reversed. And the card on the bottom of the deck for you guys is the Three of Pentacles. So the Three of Pentacles. Um, this card is about teamwork. This card usually represents working with another person or other people to build something up. Um, it, pl it implies the existence of some kind of groundwork or foundation upon which you can build something more, something substantial, something stable. Um, you know, in the relationship context, a lot of times this card comes up when two people have some history together, there is, you know, a foundation for the relationship and they, you know, are deciding to 
take things further, okay? So that's what you have on the bottom of your deck. Um, the very first card over here is the Knight of Wands reversed. So knights in general, they do tend to represent communication, messages coming in. Um, they're very action active cards. They speak of movement and change. Um, the Knight of Wands in particular is a very fiery, passionate kind of energy. This is pretty quick moving energy in the reverse, however, um, it can imply that some movement is being blocked or delayed for some reason. Um, it can also indicate that things, you know, whatever, whatever you're pursuing, whatever you're doing, um, things are not going as well as you may have anticipated. You, there might be setbacks uh, cropping up. Um, there might be obstacles, you know, in your path. So, hmm. I feel this is definitely a person who wants to talk to you. This person wants to communicate with you. I'm getting that they would like to have a positive connection with you again. Or maybe for the first time, depending on what your relationship was like in the past. The Three of Cups tends to represent friendship and unity and togetherness. Um, it can sometimes represent, you know, romantic connections, but more often than not, this is like a friend card to me. This is like loved ones, close friends. Um, it's, it's unity and harmony and it's also celebrations and having good times and making good memories with people that you care about. Um, the five of pentacles, this is about loss and grief. This is about abandonment. Uh, it comes up a lot in situations where somebody is has been left out, like ghosted, um, abandoned in some way. I feel I feel regret with this card and remorse. Okay, this is kind of interesting to me. I'm I'm getting that your person when you were in communication with each other and your relationship was whatever it was, I feel as though there was something there was something that they were keeping from you, not a third party necessarily um, not like a huge secret exactly. I feel like they were, I feel like they were struggling. Like they were struggling and it didn't, it didn't have so much to do with your relationship. It was more like a personal, like on a personal level. Um, this person was struggling and for some of you they might have just disappeared without really even saying anything or much of anything for some of you it might have been one of those you know it's not you it's me conversations and if that's the case that I think that's true I think they were being truthful there because I don't see that there was anything wrong with the relationship necessarily from their point of view. I just feel, I feel tired. I feel tired and I'm like kind of grumpy and I just feel like I can't do this anymore. Like I have to, I have to figure out what's going on with me so that I can be the best for you. For some of you, your person may have a, like a, a mental health issue going on. 
some kind of codependency possibly like an addiction or something like that for some for some for some um but for others i get that it's just it's just like emotional because the queen of uh the queen of pentacles reversed and the king of cups reversed both of these cards talk to me about self-love and self-care and like doing what you need to do for yourself even though you know it, it might come across to some people as kind of selfish but like you can't you're not going to be able to give other people what they want or what they need if you're running yourself ragged you know and that's kind of like what these cards tend to represent when they're reversed um at least for me and with the three of wands this person saw a lot of potential in your relationship um, this is all about, you know, infinite possibilities. You know, there's a whole world of opportunity out there. Anything could happen. Anything is possible. And it tells me that they were optimistic about your relationship. But I get the sense that right now, they, they kind of feel like they went about this the wrong way. I think they're wishing that they had been a little bit more transparent about what was going on and why they were distancing themselves. Because now they're afraid, you know, they're, they're thinking that they led you to believe that they just weren't interested or they just didn't care about you. And they're saying that's not, that's not the case. I did care about you a lot and I was really into you. I just went about this all the wrong ways. The King of Swords. This is um this guy is a truth teller. The King of Swords represents honesty and insight and communication, openness. Um a lot of times I do see this as, you know, somebody wanting to say something, somebody wanting to open up. Um, in the reverse, though, this kind of implies that somebody might want to say something and open up, but they're holding back because they're not sure how they will be received. They're not sure if it's even going to be worth saying what they want to say. Um, and I think that's just because... They don't know how you're going to receive them if they do get back in touch with you. They'd like to have an opportunity to, you know, maybe seize some of that untapped potential that your relationship, your connection had, they, they felt. And I think they would like an opportunity to try to, like, start fresh, like, rebuild your connection. Um... They just don't, they just don't know if it would be a good idea to reach out. They don't know if you're going to try to bite their head off. They don't know if you're going to be happy to hear from them or what. Um, so I feel like that's why they're holding back, just because they just don't know. Um, I, I think for most of you, though, this person ultimately is going to get it together. They're just going to take that risk and shoot you that message or make that call for most of you i think it's probably just going to be a message um but yeah i think for for most of you they will reach out um as far as timing goes i don't really feel like this is going to happen soon exactly um I'm here in June specifically, so June could be where this communication falls for, for a lot of you. Um, but yeah, I feel June for, for the majority of you. Uh, and I also get August, but not, not nearly as strongly. So August could also be significant for some, but for most of you, I'm getting June. Okay. So, um, I think I'm going to leave it at that, group three. I hope that this resonated with you. I hope that um, 
this was interesting at least and uh, this is just a general reading so you know take what applies to you and leave the rest behind um, if something doesn't fit don't try to make it fit if you would like a reading tailored specifically to you and your situation, I do offer personal readings. Um, the link to my Etsy store where you can purchase one is below in the description. Um, and all the information about how to order one and what info I need from you will be in the listings themselves. So if that's something you're interested in, check that out. And, uh, yeah, I, I appreciate you guys joining me today, and I hope I see you next time. Bye!